Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Virgo. Your first card here is the King of Swords. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now you also have the Sun card. For others, you may be dealing with a Leo type of energy. As an obstacle, the Sun doesn't really carry any negative only that uh, for some of you guys you may be finding yourself being a little bit too much in your head in regards to a relationship or a connection um, it's about maintaining a positive outlook or a positive uh, state of mind now the past and passing you do have the high priestess here with the wheel of the year wow okay so you guys have very strong um, major arcanas here with the High Priestess, um, what they're saying is listen to your intuition. You're being guided. For some of you guys, if you felt like at some point when it comes to relationships, things don't always turn out to the best or what you were hoping for, what Spirit is telling you here is that your luck or your uh, what you've experienced up until now is quickly going to change. It's going to give you a different outlook in life. Uh, and in regards to relationships. Now, I do see you guys here with the Knight of Pentacles wanting to uh, find stable stable ground. For some of you guys, it could be uh, wanting to create or wanting to start a relationship that turns into something long-term. With the full card, though, be practical uh, in your approach, Virgo. So what I mean by that is if you're currently dealing with someone and just starting to get to know them, don't be like high on the clouds thinking of or having very high expectations. What they're telling you is keep yourself grounded. Uh, th see things for what they are. Don't be quick to uh, create some type of tension or create, like I said, high expectations where the person is starting to sense that you're quickly trying to rush into a relationship. You don't want that, especially in the beginning of a relationship. So again, uh, keeping it very joyful with the sun card. It's almost like uh, getting a sense or a vibe of childlike type of energy, being playful, being flirtatious, that type of energy. You don't want to come off too strong or too serious um, because that could quickly... Uh, like I said, they can start quickly starting to feel some type of tension or uh, like you have very high expectations. So again, keep it playful is what they're saying. Now you do have the 10 of swords. So there was an ending or some type of ending cycle. You are coming up in your own reading with the king of pentacles. So this is you being more confident, more, more believing more in yourself. Yes, you've gone through difficulties in the past. You've gone through a transformation for some of you guys it could have been that there was a ending or some type of uh, distancing between you and a person that was of your interest but what they're telling you here is that you got to believe in yourself you got to uh, know your worth know your self-worth virgo eight of wands very quick and fast movement coming towards you uh, for some of you guys i do see the queen of cups so what they're saying is um, if you were dealing with an air energy, I feel that uh, in the present um, there was a situation that perhaps, you know, arose where there was some type of distancing for some. It could have been that they were traveling for others. It could be that they moved residency, they moved city, town, that type of energy. And it's almost like you've kind of lost your way, uh, Virgo, but you're starting to find common ground now. You're starting to feel more like yourself again, uh, even tuning into that joyful, playful type of energy. What they're telling you is keep your options open as I do see a water sign approaching you. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a better energy for you. If you are currently confused about uh, giving an opportunity to an air energy or a water energy, what they're saying here is, uh, again, be practical in your approach. Look at what they're doing, not with words, but with actions. Ultimately, um, seeing things from a practical stance, if a person genuinely cares and wants to be around you, they're going to make time and effort to be around you, not excuses. So what they're saying here is, again, keep an open mind when it comes to love. Do not 
do not settle because you feel like this is the only option you have. What they're saying is there's better opportunities coming your way that are much better people that are much better suited for you. So again, now for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship or in a marriage, you have here a situation where they're kind of taking or you're kind of losing yourself in this relationship. And what they're telling you is that it, it's important for you to take a step back and to really remember who you were. What were your desires? What was it that you were trying to achieve when you met them? Were you on a pursuit of, you know, uh, achieving some type of goal, some type of uh, some type of journey that you were on? Is that something that you put in the back burner because of a relationship? What they're telling you here is that it's time for you to put your needs. It's time for you to remember who you were, who, you know, were you excited? Were you thrilled about the pursuit of some type of goal? And if, and if you were in the past and you kind of self-sacrificed, it's time for you to go back into that type of energy and to really find yourself again, Virgo. Very, very important. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.